as the gas price is rising up to 140 cents per liter in Canada. Many people switched their vehicle to gasoline electric hybrid car to gain savings from better fuel efficiency. Many potential consumers and owners of hybrid vehicle think that the hybrid system is worth the extra penny due to better fuel efficiency. On this documentary today, we will uncover the secrets of hybrids that manufacturers are trying to hide. Many automobile manufacturers want consumers to believe that hybrids are cheaper to maintain, despite of its higher MSRP or manufacturer's suggested retail price. Therefore, many people assume hybrids pay off at every pump at a gas station, which eventually will cover the higher purchase price. However, that is not the case. As a comparison, Toyota Camry LE has a base price of $23,700, whereas hybrid is $3,300 more expensive than the base Camry to get all the hybrid technology. According to Edmunds.com, there will be a difference in ownership cost after 5 years of purchase for hybrid vehicles. Therefore, leasing consumer would lose money which they believe they gain back. Also, if the comparison is between two luxury sedans such as Lexus LS460 and LS600H, it would take about 102.6 years to make up the difference. Also in the long run, which most of the Canadians choose to do with their car, the nickel hydride battery pack will have to be replaced. Although many manufacturers offer 160,000 kilometers or 8 years of hybrid component warranty, such as Toyota, the battery, or other components are not expected to break down at this stage. It is designed to be replaced around 240,000 kilometers. As a result, consumer is forced to pay for the battery pack which costs around $4,000 from their pocket, not manufacturers. When the battery pack is replaced, despite of good fuel economy, it costs more to own hybrid than the conventional vehicle. Many people buy hybrid cars because they have been told that the hybrids are much more eco-friendly than any other vehicles out there on the market, and they feel proud for supporting the mother nature. Um, the environment is a concern to me. Um, I, do, uh, I do take the bus and take transit as much as possible. Um, very often, uh, especially more so last year than this year, but our car would sit at home. My, my wife and I would we'd both take a transit to work, and the car would sit at home. Um, in my in my daily life, I try to minimize my impact on the environment. Surprisingly, it is a fact that the recent report announced that the Toyota Prius has a higher lifetime energy cost than Hummer H1 SUV. It also states, there are, however, environmental costs to mining and smelting 1,000 tons a year of zinc for battery power second motor, and the shipping of the zinc 10,000 miles, trailing a cloud of carbon to wells for refining them to China for turning into the component that goes to a battery factory in Japan. In other words, the hybrid emit less carbon dioxide and other gases, but it releases far more energies and toxic gases into the atmosphere at a production and disposal stage. Moreover, 
Many buyers of hybrid vehicles believe that hybrids have same drivability as petrol version. The car looks the same, has almost the same engine, except for the electric motor. However, since the car is designed to have maximum fuel efficiency, engineers often design aerodynamic and narrower wheels, which have lower air drag and roaring resistance. Due to such a modification, Consumer Report claimed that Hyundai Sonata Hybrid does not have secure handling on the wheel, which may cause an accident at emergency case due to less grip from the low resisting tires. Uh, yeah, it does. It drives a little bit differently in that um, it doesn't have as much pickup. So when you press the gas pedal, it does take, um, like if you're on the highway or something that, like that, it takes a little bit longer to accelerate. That's probably the only real drawback to driving a hybrid. Consumers should not buy hybrid cars because of its hidden secrets that manufacturers hide from consumers. The manufacturer may advertise that hybrids pay off, but that is just one perspective. When the real research is conducted on overall ownership, the hybrid is more expensive to own. Also, it is more harmful to the environment than gas-eating Hummer and it does not have same drivability as conventional model. All in all, hybrid is a good choice, but going with clean diesel or advanced petrol version is far more superior choice.